Kind of feeling like every place I lay my hat is my home. It's your man DJ Aiken Tampa's most connected DJ. Hanging with a dude I ain't seen in a while, man. Mr. Youngberg in yes, the building. Sir. What up, bro, bro? First off, man, shouts out to GameWorks Ebor City for rocking with us today, man. I feel real good about it. And after this, um, be clear, when you talk to me again, I will be saying how bad I beat my man at everything we played today. <laughs> good luck. <laughs> What's good with you, man? Hey, man, just working, you know, um, back out here doing my thing again. I took a little time off. To get right. in the studio and just do what I love doing, like so I was able to work for a lot of different people. Like I got three records on Dirty Money's new album, which comes out December fourteenth, that we produced, and um, I actually wrote one of them as well. But like I, a lot of people don't know, like I was producing a lot of my records, really all of them that right. ever came out. So I got my producer bag, did stuff for Dirty Money, um, Jim Jones' new single, Roscoe Dash. I'm on his album. Hold up, before you even go too far, because you know what, you know what, I, and, and you know what, every time I see something on you in the media, right? They forget, like, can you give them a little bit of history on you? Like, cause you've been around Man. for a good minute doing a lot of big things. For sure. Um, my first record was Sexy, Sexy Lady, Platinum. Right. Second record, The Business, Platinum. Third record, or oh, I mean, third record, Sexy Can I, Me and Ray J, four times Platinum. Right. Um, and but even just, before that, you've been, yeah, you've been but, around on a few before things. Before that, I was signed a DMX record label. You yeah, know? that's and, what I'm saying, because I knew about yeah. you back then. I was like a little young, I was young, young bird, <laughs> like younger bird, for right. real. <laughs> so you've been, so this is, this is not like, I mean, this is not like a new game. You've been in this game for a minute, you're getting your chops wet, doing yes. a lot of different things within this game. Yeah. So now we at where we at now, like you said, you're getting your producer cap back. Yeah. You're working on new records, and I was talking to you before we even got started here, I and mean, before we get, get into the record, right. you're not with Koch anymore. Nah, I'm not with Kosh. I, I went, see, the thing was, I, I had a, a production situation with Epic. Right. And Epic gave me my own imprint or whatever, and then they integrated with Koch, and they and then Koch was the ones that were doing all the radio promo for gotcha. me. But, I mean, I'm not with them no more. Shout out to them. I still talk to D and Shadow on a regular basis, so right. it's always going to be family, you know. But I'm doing my own thing. Like, I've been around those guys, you know, and I did my whole little run, and they allowed me to see a lot of different things to be able to structure it and be like, yo, I can do this my own way and right. be right back talking to you, you know what I'm saying, the same position two years later, you know? So unlike a lot of cats, you read and you understand what's going on in this yeah, game. Yeah, you gotta know the game. Like, that's the most important thing and always invest into yourself because, like, you are the brand, you are the number one priority. Right. And so now we out with a new situation. We got yeah. the mixtape, ground workout, ground and work. of course we got the new single, Sex in the City. Yeah. What's the science behind what you're doing right now, man? I mean... Sex in the city, man. That's what I've been doing, man. Yeah, where we go, cuff your girl, handcuff her to the bed, because if we come to town, you know what I'm saying, you already know I'm like the black Hugh Hefner, man. Right. We running with it, you know what I'm saying, Playboy for life. Believe right. that. So, you got this is the, this is just the new single, the new album. The new album is coming. It's titled Christian Ward. It's coming out in March. And um, Sex in the City is the lead off record, you know, and it's the same type of feel as the business, but it's like a 2010 version of it. I produced it with my man, my partner, Ayo, the producer. Right. And we just giving people what they want, man. Like the women, I did it for you. <laughs> Love you. Does it bother you a lot of times, though, that that? You know, cause you get a, you get a lot of people, and like I said, unless I do my research, I don't even know half right. the stuff because everything that the, seems like to me, the stupidity makes world star. Right. The stupidity makes no, not no. Shouts out the world star in a good way, but you know, those are the things that make the clips. Does it does it bother you that you're not known as much, or like you know, what I'm saying like to just a, the average fan of being a producer, of being a writer? Like you said, you're working with Diddy and Dirty Money. Yeah. Um. It really don't bother me because I know that hard work pays off, and I just got to keep it moving and move forward and do what I do. Like. Financially, I'm able to get my check off and don't nobody know what my check looking like, <laughs> right. so that is what it is. But on a whole, like, basis of just people in the public knowing, like, I think their hard work pays off and, like, I got a few impressions and a few things that are coming out to let people know that. And I, I, I'm speaking about it, like, I wasn't really talking about it last time because I was caught up in just being a, a, a celebrity and being on TV and doing my thing, but right now, like, the BS comes with the game, man. Free right. throws and fouls, they all in the game, you know? So what, what, let me ask you a question. What surprised you the most then when you actually, because like you said, I know you, you loved it, because every, I mean, I, like I love this TV thing. I love interviewing artists like yourself. But what surprised you the most when you finally were inside, when you finally were in the game and you was there? What surprised you the most? Just, um, really, just the fact that you're a public figure, you know, when people can say and do things about you and write things, different things about you and wouldn't technically be true or right. could be true or could be false, but it's like, 
you really don't know how to, like, you just wake up to it. Like, you right. know what I'm saying? Like, you'll wake up to something being on the internet and stuff like that. That's the only thing that's surprising, and that surprised me. But after it happened, it's like, hey, man, this is a part of the game. It is what it is. You know, I got to keep moving. All right. And speaking of keeping moving, you know I wouldn't be doing, like, the people that, that watch me. Right. If I wouldn't be doing it right if I didn't ask you. So what, what is with the chaos with Berg and the chains and people on these, on... And I don't know these people. I'm just, I said, I'm, 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 a, I'm a watcher of things like right. everybody else. Right. But I get up in the morning, it's like, Young Bird Chain is here. I got Young Bird Chain. What is, what is, what is, what is, first off, what's the significance of it, first off? But I mean, how do you keep getting caught in that? Um, well, the first, the only situation, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm fly. Right. Ladies I mean, I'm letting you address me. it. <laughs> I, I, I go around and have sex in a city. People don't like it. Right. But you know, at the end of the day, I'm not gonna stop being me. I'm gonna continue to be me. And like, I'm gonna let the record speak for itself. You know, like controversy and people talking about me, it just comes with the territory. That's just me. Like, it is what it is, but hey. So, you, but do you feel like you bring it on? Or you, I mean, cause I mean, I know you be you. Every time I've ever seen you, it's been nothing but a cool situation. Yeah. So I have nothing. People ask me, I'd be like, every time I met the dude, he's cool. Nah, it's, um, it's not, it, like, I, I wouldn't say that I bring it on personally, right. but I mean, it is what it is. It's part of the game. Like we, it's, it's always gonna be that guy that has all the girls and a lot of momentum in a, in a ladies' way that dudes are gonna be hating on. Right. It's been that way since I was. I've been. The, I've been that little pretty eyed light skinned dude my whole <laughs> life. So you gotta understand that. Like that is what it is. Like it comes with the territory. Now, granted, it's on a larger scale. Right. But, because you are young Berg now. Yeah. But at the end of the day, like I gotta keep it moving. Like I got sexy ladies to go see. Like I got. Right. I got women to be with. I can't even like. Come on, cut it out. So do you do so do you so do you move differently now when you, you know what I'm saying? Cause I know I know your team is tight just from meeting your team and I yeah. know that. And I know you come out, you concentrate, like I said, you you chill with dudes like me, but do you move a little different mentally? Yeah, I because definitely of the chaos? Move, I move differently, but at the same token, like a lot of a lot of the stories and a lot of things, like it's the media, so it's fabricated, but it's like I'm not gonna give the time to come back and respond and right. tell you the truth. Like it is what it is. Like right. once it gets out there, it's out there. Because like if you come back and say, well, you know, this didn't happen this way that press doesn't travel with the same legs as the initial press did, right, you know, gotcha. and it's really not worth your time. So it is what it is pretty much on that note. See, and that, that's what I like about when dudes come here. We address it and now we move back to the positive. Believe that. How many albums, how many um, tracks on the album? Hey, it's 12 tracks on the album. It's crazy. It's produced all by me and my man Ayo, the producer. Hold up, man. Let me ask you something. Can you be saying produced all by you and your man Ayo? Yeah. Are y'all really that nice on the boards? Yo, we serious with what we do. <laughs> like, it's, yo, you, the music speaks for itself. I can't lie. You be having some bangers out Shout there. out to Roscoe Dash. Ask him. Roscoe, I, he, and speaking of good press, he just did something I saw that was real nice. He said I gave him one of the hottest records he's ever recorded in his life. Wow, that's big right there, cause you know he, he what he have all the way turned up that kind of broke him out here. Working with working with Diddy, doing doing records like Half on a Baby, Rico Love was actually writing on that record. Then I went, I got record Jim Jones' new single. He wants he wants the executive to produce my album. He and talks about that, so it's a lot of a lot of different things going. On. So basically. It's a lot going on around you yeah. now that I sit here and talk to you, man. Don't pay attention to the hoopla, you know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, then that's why I'm really back and I'm really doing what I'm doing because like, I went in my producer lane and, and right. I fell back from being an artist for a little bit, but I just noticed that like I'm still relevant and people talk about me like as if I had a record that's top 10 right now. <laughs> so right. it's like, I have to give you, since I do have records that are top 10 records, why not just give it to them? Sex right. in the city, yeah. Okay. Let me, ask, let me well let me let's get on this thing because because you know you back in your producer lane uh -huh. you are like pretty let me if I'm not mistaken if, tell me if I got it right you a check writer you 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 running you running what's going yeah, on around I you I mean yeah I do I do my own thing like I've always been self made for what I do like when I started with my career. We got with DJs and we got with good people like yourself and outlets to where in LA I was able to break my record Sexy Lady before anybody heard it, no deal, no nothing. That's right. what led me to be 20 years old to go in a position and be like, yo, I need my own production company. Right. So it's really inspiration for any other artist that wants to be in a position or be in the limelight or have records on the radio and just be prospering the game because it's like, you gotta put in that groundwork yourself to really get it to where people notice it and really that's take it, you know what I'm saying? Like that's when it really works and you get what you're supposed to get in this game. Okay, which brings me to another big point right here. Mm -hmm. Are you looking for new artists? Of course, I'm always looking for new artists. In fact, like my man is crazy. My, my producer, AO, the producer that I work with, Right. I found him off Twitter, like, and oh. we linked up. We had a relationship. He's out of he's out of Orlando, you know what I'm saying? So okay. we we end up connecting on Twitter maybe a year and a half ago. 
started rocking out and then we came and we did a situation together. I signed him and we just like, and it's not even like a situation like that because we're like the 2010 Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis. Like, right. it's serious what we do. And like, everything we do together is crazy. So right now the word is getting out through the, through the industry about what I do songwriting and producing. And that's beautiful to me. You know what I'm saying? Working with people like Rico Love, who's one of the biggest songwriters in the game right, right now. Definitely. Getting advice from that guy. You know what I'm saying? And, and doing a lot of different things. You know, like, it's just about being young and really bossing up and doing what you need to do. Okay, so these aspiring artists, uh -huh. I mean, because they could just contact me and I know how to get with you, yeah. but I don't want to make it seem like, okay, and I am that heavy. No, we'll just get back to what you're doing. <laughs> nah. <laughs> how can an artist get at you or get their stuff to you? Get at me, man. I got the website. If you want to be in tune with anything that I got going on and just anything Young Fly, is, right. you got to hit up youngflymovement.com. Y-U-N-G flymovement.com and that'll give you updates on the sexiest ladies, who I'm feeling at the time, who you need to get your eye out for, fashion, anything that I'm doing is my own blog and I run it. Then you can hit me up on Twitter at the real young berg and like that's how we get down. You know what I, I think I'm a, I think I'm a um when this is over, right? We're gonna talk a little bit more. Lose and, 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 and some basketball or something like that. See, I wasn't gonna go there, but I'm really kinda like, do you, do you really know how many industry dudes that I have have made walk out of here with they dude? Call Mike Jones when you when you feel like talking to somebody. Listen. I don't even know if he scored in here, I'll beat him so bad. Hey, I'm not Mike. You know I'm Mike? Mm -mm. <laughs> hey man, I, I, I'm, I'm glad to talk to you, man. I'm also glad too that you got everything straight. And yeah. from what I understand and everything I, I knew already, real level-headed dude, and I'm happy to see the new record out, Sex in the City. But yeah. I'm also happy too, man, that you like, you got like a lot of knowledge, man, and cats don't have that. So before I let you go, because I know, like I said, when I go down here and beat you at air hockey, probably right. a couple of driving games and that sort of thing. Right. That's another point. But Give these cats, man. Give them, give them a piece of advice, man, before you get out of here. Because I, I think that they missing that. Give them that piece of advice that you would say, Young Berg is leaving you with a gym before we shut this out right here. If you really, whatever you love doing, never give up. God put you through things to prepare you for your true blessing that you really got to get at the end of the day. So don't worry about roadblocks and what you're going through. Just keep going with the same mentality and working hard, and you're going to get there. I promise. It's the homie Young Berg, man. Sex in the City is the new single out right now. Yes, sir. And um, give them that website again, man, so they can get at you. Youngflymovement.com, at the real Young Berg on Twitter. Holla at me. Follow me, I follow back. Let's go. Real good dude right here, man. Got a lot going on. It's my place. Yes, sir. Holla at your folk, man. I get it in.